This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 7th of July 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. President Muhammadu Buhari says he is disappointed with the intelligence system and utilization at the Medium Security Custodial Center in Kujay, Abuja. He said this shortly after visiting the facility, which was attacked by terrorists, leaving five people dead, several injured, while over 400 have escaped. The Permanent Secretary Ministry of Interior, Shuai Begore, and the Controller General of the Nigeria Correctional Service, Haliru Nababa, gave him a breakdown of what happened. The bombed out section and the records of Office, which was set on fire, adding that the invaders thereafter launched an attack on all cells in which Boko Haram terrorists were held. He said none of the 63 terrorists were accounted for, but the records were not lost because they had been backed up electronically. Meanwhile, the Islamic State in West Africa province, Iswap, has claimed responsibility for Tuesday's attack. President Muhammad Buhari has assigned portfolios to seven newly appointed ministers, charging them to serve the nation diligently, maintain unalloyed loyalty to the country and to the office of the president. The president also reshuffled his cabinet, saying the new redeployment is aimed at reinvigorating certain sectors where the government desires improved results. Dr. Lauren Mamura is now the Minister of Science and Technology, Sharon Ikiazo, Minister of State for Niger Delta Affairs, Muazu Jaji Sambo, Minister of Transportation, Omar Ibrahim El Yakub, Minister of State for Works and Housing, Good Luck Nanao Pia, Minister of State for Education, amongst others. Before the swearing in, a mini silence was observed in honor of Mohamed Balkindo, the outgoing Secretary General of OPEC, who died at 63. The international runway of the Motala Muhammad Airport will be open for both local and international operations for about three months to enable repair works on the domestic runway. The Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria Fund says the domestic runway will undergo a couple of repairs and installation of airfield lightings. The development means that international and local airlines will use the international runway 18R36L for landing and takeoff beginning on Friday, July 8, 2022, and is expected expected to last for 90 days. The President of the Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda have held talks at a time of increased tension over violence in eastern Dia Congo. Dia Congo's President Phyllis Shisekedi and his Rwandan counterpart Paul Kigami have agreed to restore trust and de-escalate tension. Angolan President Yao Lorenzo has been mediating the talks. He announced a ceasefire without giving any details. There have been diplomatic tensions between the two neighbors, with Dia Congo accusing Rwanda of backing a Tusi militia known as as M23. This Kigali denies. On Wednesday, there were handshakes between the two leaders and some optimism, judging by the Congolese president's comments. The two presidents have agreed to normalize diplomatic relations, which have been extremely tense in recent weeks. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember never to quit because winners don't quit.